Hey guys, got lots going on today. I'm in the process of making signs for the girls so I can put your names on it. Uh, nicer signs that are there right now. Uh, plus, I got a lot more work to do in the grove today. So it's going to be a busy day, but we'll talk to you soon. Those green ones I forgot yesterday. Uh, the gold ring. Gold ring. Um, bush. Another name for bush. Brush? Something like that. Gold, gold ring brush. Anyway, when they grow up, you never know what color the flowers are going to be. They could be gold, yellow, red, pink. Tell me what the other one is. Gold, yellow. Oh, or purple. But you never know which which one they are until they grow up. So they're kind of like, uh, it's kind of like you got to roll the dice and you never know what color it's going to be. Have a quick little look at this little beauty. Uh, here you go. Look, I just wanted you to see. Uh, I just wanted you to have a quick, quick see what's going on here with your little bushy. Uh, so we got another purple smoke bush uh, done. Uh, the golden one's gonna go there, but I don't like George being way over there. Sister Moon likes George. George likes Sister Moon. They're kind of buddies. So I think I'm going to move George beside Sister Moon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Night and day. Yeah. Belongs there, right beside Sister Moon. That's where he should have been, right in the first place. Wow. What a difference. So I can put one white lilac there. One white lilac there. That's two. I'm not going to put a, a lilac there. I think I'll fill that hole in and either move it up or, or not bother at all. Well, I'm kind of disappointed. I got the work done at the place. And I was only able to get two lilac trees, two white lilacs. But unfortunately, I don't think there's enough root. Um, pretty sure they're going to die. If they were any other plants, I'd just chuck them. Uh, but because they're lilac, I'll give them a 20% chance that they might live. So we'll try it anyway for a week, see what happens with them. Uh, damn it. You know, if I'm going to continue pretending to be a gardener, someone's going to have to come up with Viagra for plants. Yeah. Definitely needs Viagra. Hm. I got a... Celtic grandmother, I was gonna toss this old rose bush out. It's crap. But she says, no, no, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna cut it exactly where and how I tell you to cut it. And I'll show you there's lots of life left in this old rose bush. So, we gotta experiment. I'm gonna see who's right. And get to work on this rose bush. Talk to you later. Uh, what do you know? It's like I always say, never argue with an elder Scotch woman because she'll beat you to death. Anyway. That is that ugly rose tree that we had that I was going to toss out. I will admit it because I thought there's no way this thing will come to life. And I sat there with this old uh, Scottish ancestor, female, who said, no, no, just snip here, snip there, snip here, snip. And that's what we ended up with. Anyway, she then turned around and said, it's a witch tree. And uh, just like... Red wolf needs a tree of life. True needs a witch tree. So this is now you have gotten from an outer witch of the Scottish descent. And she presented you with this with this tree that I'm amazed it's it actually looks pretty damn good. Anyway, Drew my dear. You now have your own witch tree. Look at that. Something that you've needed for a long time. And my dear pup, you've got your life tree. Your tree of life. So, hey, everything's good in the world today. Back later. Hey everybody, how you going? I'm just uh, sitting and relaxing. I want to talk to you about, about the trees and about the, uh, why, why is it built the way it's built. See. This, this will help you understand, maybe, the community of the grove. 
to you. Every single tree is connected to the next, which is all connected to the center. Okay? So, I can get and use energy from Evie's tree or PJ's tree, Tammy's tree, um, Olive's tree, Lou's tree, Lucy's tree. I can use energy from Druid's, uh, Druid's tree, Druid, yeah, Druid's, well, I can use the Druid tree too, but anyway, uh, uh, from Red Wolf's tree, from Georgie's tree, right, but so can all of you, because all the trees are connected, all things are connected, right, and it's all connected to the center, and the center is what brings in and lets out the energy, it breathes energy, you see? And that's like, okay, so there's my tree of life, right? That's my tree of life, but that's also all of yours, okay? You all get energy, you can all get uh, whatever you need from that tree of life. Same with Red Wolf's tree, way over there. That's her tree, but it's everybody's tree, you know, because we're all connected together. We're all one family. And Drew now has her very first, I bet you, her very first, witch tree and I guarantee you it's her very first witch tree from an ancestor Scottish woman from an ancestor witch who looks at her and says she deserves a tree that's pretty damn cool <laughs> so uh, you asked if you were on the right path I told you yes of course I've always been in your corner and you've always been on the right path but when an ancestor recognizes you, ask me to save a tree I was going to toss in the garbage and that she would show me how to trim it up for you. And then ask me if we could put it in the grove for you. Okay? That's some pretty powerful shit. That tells you something there, girl. That's some pretty powerful shit. Because right, I'll tell you what. Uh, ancestors don't usually ask permission to, to put stuff in a grove and, you know, um, of course my ancestors would just do it anyway, but someone else's ancestor groves, you know, she's obviously from a different grove completely, but she asked permission if she could come here and be part of this grove so that you could have a witch tree. So, there you go. Any questions? Are you on the right path? Huh? Any questions? Comments? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm going to get the grove registered by the Ontario government, so it's an, it'll be a registered grove, okay? I've already talked to them a couple times, um, but they have no problem with me registering the grove, so... Definitely going to have the grove registered. So that'll be cool. Yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd sit down and, and give her gabble with you a little bit, because we haven't chit-chat too much lately. Yeah. Anyway, I'm very excited. Oh! The four colors are going to get done either today or tomorrow, too. Finally got the paints uh, for the four colors. So, four colors will finally get finished. Uh, they're beside themselves with happiness. They're going to get their colors finally, so they're going to be very happy with that. Uh, so, even if something does happen, but see, every single plant here is supposed to come back every single year, okay, after the winter. But if one, for whatever reason, doesn't come back, we will get you another one and make sure that your tree's always here, okay? So there you go. All right, that's enough chit-chat for now. I'll talk to you in a bit. Tammy, that's your tree that you're asking about. It's a, it's a Peking cotton. Here, I'll show you what the flowers look like when they bloom. You see that? That's what they're going to look like. See? And... Uh, they come back every year. Uh, doesn't matter how cold it gets in the, su in the winter. They grow up to nine feet tall, and they can spread out ten feet, <laughs> which obviously they're not good at because we won't let them do that. But um, yeah, so and and they always come back. So there, there's yours, Abby. Still looking good. Uh, Grace, that's Grace. Abby named her plant Grace. <laughs> and there's Nana and Granddad's. 
and that's Mystics right there. But that little Pinky Winky, nobody's got Pinky Winky yet. I'm surprised. I thought Pinky Winky would go quick. Um, Pinky Winky is going to be beautiful, gorgeous plant. It's going to have pink and white flowers on it, mixed together. Um, <laughs> Mom and Dad's trees are growing nice. They've gotten a little bit bigger already, and uh, the astral tree is doing good. Shelly's plant is doing good. She's starting to get little buds, which is cool. But the leaves are kind of limping out on me, and I think it's just because maybe I gave it too much water. I don't know. Uh, blueberries are doing all right. There's the raspberries. Some of them are really good, but look at this. See, another Viagra plant. This needs Viagra. We need Viagra for the plants. Okay, so there's Lucy's plant. There's Olive's plant. That one there has not been taken yet either. And it's the last, yeah, so it's the last one behind the four winds. Uh, so if anybody's in the spirit communication and you want to plant, this would be the one to get. Because it's connected right with the four winds, which are the controllers of communication. All right, that's Bridgie's. And that's Kimmy's. And nobody else can call her Kimmy, but I do because, well, she's Kimmy. There's Luz. There's Omar's. There's Miss Case. Yay, Miss Case. Big hugs. And there's Ray's. See, Ray's got his own tree. 